6. Hidden CMD commands you never knew, part 3. Search CMD in the search bar and run command prompt as an administrator. Take on takes ownership of a file or directory. Type take on F. Replace path to file with the actual path to the file you want to take ownership of. If you encounter an access denied error when trying to access, modify or delete a file or directory, taking ownership can resolve the issue. This is particularly useful if the original owner account is no longer available or has been deleted. ICECLS modifies the access control list of files and directories. Type ICECLS. Replace path to file with the actual path to the file or directory. Replace username with the actual username you want to grant permission to. This command enables you to grant specific permissions to individual users or groups, ensuring that only authorized individuals have the necessary access to files and directories. By assigning the appropriate permissions, you can prevent unauthorized access and modifications, thus enhancing security. GP update updates the group policy settings. Type GP update force. This applies group policy changes immediately without waiting for the next scheduled refresh interval, which can be particularly used for doing critical updates or troubleshooting, facilitating faster issue resolution. Netconfig displays or configures settings of a server service. Type netconfig server. You can use netconfig server to change various server settings, such as the maximum number of users who can simultaneously connect to the server, the idle session time before a user is automatically disconnected, and other performance related settings. Query process displays information about processes on a system. Type query process. This provides a snapshot of all currently running processes, including process IDs, session names, session numbers, and memory usage. It also helps in identifying resource intensive processes, which can be useful for managing system performance. FSUTIL30 queries or set a volumes dirty bit. Type FSUTIL dirty query. C. By running this command, you can quickly determine if the dirty bit is set on the C drive. If it is set, it indicates that the file system may have issues that need to be addressed.